In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Ag2O, silver 1 oxide. This is also known as silver oxide. Ag is a metal, and then oxygen is a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. That means that electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So we have two Ag atoms, so we'll put one here, and then one over here, and then we'll put the oxygen in the middle. Silver has the one valence electron, and oxygen, which is in group 16, sometimes called 6A, it has 6. So we said that this is an ionic compound, and the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetal. So the Ag, that'll transfer one electron to the oxygen here, and then the other Ag, that'll transfer its electron over there. So when this Ag lost an electron, it lost a negative charge. That means it became a 1 plus charge. So we'll write plus right here. And then the same thing for this Ag. It lost that one electron, so it has a 1 plus charge as well. The oxygen, though, it gained two electrons. So it gained two electrons, and they're negative, so now it has a 2 minus charge. We'll put brackets around the oxygen to show that it's an ion. Often you'll also see brackets around the cation, the positive ion. And that makes this the Lewis structure for Ag2. O, silver oxide. Do note that this is called a formula unit and that crystals are made up of an array of regularly repeating formula units. Still, this is useful because it shows us how the electrons were transferred to form this ionic bond. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for Ag2O and thanks for watching.